three in the Independent Wrestling Association, <laughs> Mid South, by the way. A wrestler by the name of CM Punk fought Chris Hero for over 90 minutes. What? Well, uh, 90 you know, minutes. I'm super, I'm super excited that my lead-in was the the 20 round shootout because I'm such a big <laughs> hockey fan. And then I don't know if you can see how much I'm blushing right now because you just did that to me. Thank well, you. Well, we put you in great company, no question about yeah, it. Yeah, Roberto Luongo and Chris Hero on Sports Center. Who would have thought? <laughs> there you go. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I don't know if you know. They call me CM Punk around here. No, they don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. What does yeah. that mean? Well, Chris what? McKendry Punk. Some, some uh, do. Some don't. They don't do it to her face. That's what the CM stands. Well, yeah, there you yeah. go. Chef Mosley, Chris Henry. Okay. Yeah, you get it. Uh, mid career change, big change. Yeah, big change. Going from WWE fighting to wrestling to now mixed martial arts. Yeah. Why the change? Why not? Could Are be you dangerous. Ready? Why not? Am I am I ready today? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, pr I mean, probably not. But I, I I'm I'm I. I'd fight anybody right now, whether that's a smart decision <laughs> or not. Well, it takes that mindset, doesn't it? it takes I think that it mindset. does. I think it does. I think you have to be a little bit nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I used to not be able to walk or swim or, you know, uh, and, and I'm not saying it's uh, going to be easy, but I'm, I'm going to get there and I'm excited to climb that mountain. What do you need to do to get there? Um, train, you know, hone my skills. Uh, I, I'm already, I'm disciplined. I've been training, and the only thing I need to do is just, you know, more, more, more miles on the, the the road, so to speak. What's your strength? In other words, what do you want to do to opponents, and, and what's your weakness? What you fear they may do to you? Uh, well, I, I think this is why myself, along with everybody else, loves MMA. There's so many options. There's, yeah. there's wrestling. There's jujitsu. There's kickboxing, Muay Thai, straight boxing, uh, everything, and everybody's pretty well-rounded and that's how I feel I need to come into the game. What are you most be, comfortable doing? I'm comfortable on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, whether I get uh, taken down on my, on my back, I can, I'm confident in my ability to stand back up, I'm confident in my jiu-jitsu, uh, and it's only going to get better from now until uh, the day I fight. There are detractors, clearly, that, 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 that say, you know, he has no business being in UFC, he's a wrestler, yep. Matt Brown among them, mm -hmm. he's a longtime uh, welterweight contender, and he actually, uh, on the MMA Great Debate podcast, said it called you a dumb athlete and he's surprised that that ufc went this way well thanks for calling me an athlete matt i appreciate it <laughs> that's one thanks. way of looking yeah, at it absolutely what's your response to the people that say you know you, this, you just shouldn't be doing this you haven't earned the right to do this uh you know i'm not sure i have a response for matt i'm a i'm a fan of matt i yeah. like watching one of my favorite fights last year was matt brown versus eric silva i thought that was awesome right matt brown's an awesome fighter and i'm still going to continue to love watching him fight uh, but everybody has an opinion, whether it's positive or negative. And the negative ones, uh, while I understand their perspective, I understand where he's coming from, uh, and I... Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't want to say, well, they're, they're just upset. Yeah. You know, and, I, and I can understand that, and more power to you. I understand your point of view. Uh, my job is to do what's good for me and my family, and along the way, if I change your mind, Matt Brown, awesome. Great. Both sports, larger-than-life personalities throughout, including the men who run them, Vince McMahon and Dana White. Yes. How are they different? How are they similar? You know, I was asked this uh, in an interview earlier in the week, and uh, I kind of wasn't prepared for it, and I really didn't like my response because uh, it was very vague. Like, oh, well, they're, they're very similar, but they're very, very different. Uh, you know, they're, they're both driven. They're both set in their ways. They both have an idea of what is best for their company and everything like that, and I, I think uh, that's how they're the same. How, how they're different, uh, I think, is, is the difference in the generation. You know, Vince is very old school. Dana is uh, more open-minded, more uh, kind of, there's, there's more of a warmth on the UFC side that I'm experiencing, and Dana's more open-minded, obviously. He, he hired me. Uh, <laughs> you know, and that, that, that's, that's probably as, 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 uh, as different as, uh, as I can describe right now. We have about 30 seconds. I mentioned the detractors out there. Yeah. Are you using some of what they're saying as fuel to your fire to make sure you don't go out there and embarrass yourself? Yeah. I mean, listen, there's always people throughout my entire life who have told me that I can't do something. Uh, nobody ever thought I would make it to the WWE. Nobody ever thought I'd be the champion. 
um, you know, and nobody ever thought I'd be in the UFC, and now no one ever. It, it, it's it's levels, and I definitely very much use. Uh, the negativity that comes my way to fuel me to prove people wrong. I, I feel I'm very good at doing that. Best of luck. We look forward to your first fight. Thank you very much. Whenever that I. may be. Yeah, I, I very much look forward to it as well. Sam, thanks. Thank you. Thanks.